Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 41, Under the Empyrean Sky, by Chuck Windig. This was a fun book. I loved the weird world the characters lived in. They live in a very hostile environment and always seem to be struggling. But the things they do are so cool. I would love to float above tall stalks of corn on a ship equipped with hover rails scavenging for parts. Would I want to do that as a living? (laughs) No. But it would be fun for a day and it was really fun to read about. I don't want to spoil anything, so I won't get into the cool things they discover, but it was a ride I was happy to be on next to the characters. That is enough for me to really enjoy a book, but Chuck's writing style was like a big old cherry on top of this hovering banana boat he served up. I came to know Mr. Wendig from hearing him on a few podcasts, and on these podcasts, The hosts mentioned how helpful, regular, and hilarious Chuck's blog posts were. So I subscribed to his blog. I then began to receive new posts, usually daily and sometimes twice a day. In these blog posts, Chuck is at times profane enough to make me cringe, but always doling out incredible advice for writers, and he is hilarious. I'm pretty sure I have laughed from every one of Chuck's blog posts. I was hopeful this funny writing would come through in this book, and it did. But what surprised me more were the amazing descriptive passages and metaphors. There was some beautiful writing in this book. A lot of the story wasn't funny, it was serious stuff, and Windig does a solid job describing the world and the characters. Sometimes I would stop and just soak in a line or two that he wrote, like I often do when I'm reading classical literature. His prose went from beautiful, to stunning, to hilarious, to vulgar, all in the same chapter. The end of the book makes you really wish the second book was already out, and I will be sure to pick it up once it hits shelves. The last thing I'll mention is that I read this book by listening to it on my long commutes. It's how I get most of my reading done. The narrator was one I've never heard before, but Nick Podell is now one of my favorite narrators. The guy is good. He does different voices for different characters, and he does it well. My favorite thing about Podell, though, is that he really gets into it. When the characters are screaming in anger, you can't just hear it in Nick's voice. You can feel it. Also, I've noticed even some of the best narrators are a bit reserved when it comes to lines of dialogue that are being screamed. (laughs) Not Nick. He belts it out. He must be backing off the mic or turning down the gain because you can hear that he's really screaming, and it is awesome. I will probably go looking for another book to read specifically because he is the narrator. Wow. Cool. Yeah, that was a fun book. Anyway, now that you've heard me say how awesome the audiobook version of this is, let me tell you, the listener of this podcast, that you can get it for free just for trying Audible.com's services. If you go to Audible.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get Under the Empyrean Sky, written by Chuck Wendig and narrated by Nick Podell, just for trying Audible's service. Now, you can get any audiobook of your choice. You get one free download. But I would highly recommend Under the Empyrean Sky. Nick Podell, if you are a big audiobook fan, you may know him as the narrator of The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, which I've heard from many of my friends is their favorite epic fantasy novel ever. I have used one of my own Audible credits to get this book, but since it's such a long book, I haven't started it yet, but it is one that I am planning on listening to this year. 
And I'm really excited because not only is it a book that comes highly recommended, but I already know I love the narrator Nick Podell. So anyway, audible.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. You can get Under the Empyrean Sky by Chuck Wendig, narrated by Nick Podell, and see just how awesome the story is and the narration. Now, let's get back to that review. Alright, so yeah, I remember the main character of this book being really relatable, and um, I don't know what it is about books where the main character is kind of coming of age, but that's the case in this book, and I really loved it. Um, It was also really cool just seeing the difference between the people who live down on the planet, the people just barely scrape by, and they're poor, and life is really hard. But above them are these floating cities, and you can see this book has a really cool cover. You can see a floating city floating above a whole gigantic row of corn on either side. And um, I'm excited. I think in the second book you get to explore these floating cities more. And I haven't read the second book yet, but this is actually a trilogy of books, so... Uh, That's probably another book I am planning to read this year that'll be exciting. So, um, there were quite a few main characters. The main character had quite a few friends. And it was really cool seeing them kind of scrape through life and um, flying around on these hover vehicles, scavenging for parts. People call this corn punk because it wasn't really steampunk. Um, but either way, it's it's sci-fi, and it was awesome. So it, it's kind of its own genre in a way, and that was really cool. Um, I haven't read much steampunk, um, and this is, like I said, corn punk, or <laughs> I don't know. But uh, there's some really cool technology in this book, and uh, I really look forward to seeing more as the characters get to explore the cities that float above their world. That's where all the rich people live. So there's just this cool dichotomy between um, the two societies, and you really got to explore what it was like living under the Empyrean sky, as the title suggests. And it was cool. Um, There were quite a few adventures in this book, and so there's a lot of really fun, cool scenes that are beautifully described but there's also a lot of awesome exciting kind of action scenes so there's just a lot to uh, look forward to in this book I hope you'll check it out Uh, I hope that you guys have had a good week of reading I would love to hear about the books that you're reading if there's a book that you have heard of that you want to read but you don't know if you'll like it or not and you want me to review it I'd be happy to do so Just go to dandantheartman.com And on the right hand side you can see a button that says um, Book Reviews Podcast That'll just link you to all of the posts for this podcast And just go ahead and leave a comment on any of those And uh, let me know what you're reading Let me know what you think of this podcast Uh, Let me know if there are books you want me to review It's funny, I go on YouTube and listen to book reviews on there a lot, uh, but usually only after I've finished a book, because I don't want anything to be spoiled. But at the same time, I'm just really interested on what people thought of a book after I read it. Why they liked it, maybe even if it's a book I didn't like, but I kind of liked parts of it, and it's like a highly reviewed book that tons of people like. I'm just interested to see what other people's thoughts were on a book. And so I'm guessing that's how a lot of you guys are. You might be listening to just certain episodes of this podcast on books that you've already read just to see what I thought about it. And if that's the case, go ahead and post a comment under one of my blog posts at dandantheartman.com. Let's just get a discussion going. Also, you can find tons of book reviews on that website and so um, I might have already read a book that you want me to review and if you see it on my website as a review or on my Goodreads page 
and there's a link to my Goodreads on dandantheartman.com, just in the upper right-hand corner. You can just say, like, hey, man, I see that you've read and reviewed this book already. Can you podcast it next? I want to hear it. Then you don't have to read it. You can just listen to it on your commutes, because if you're like me, you don't have a lot of reading time, but you do have a lot of listening time. That's how I get almost all my reading done. I listen to tons of podcasts while I'm driving to and from work or doing the dishes or something. So anyway, that's all I've got for you guys. I hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Dan Dan the Art Man. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.